Happy New Year, guys! You're probably making your New Year resolution right now. When you look back in 2019, what have you accomplished? Imagine you're 80 years old, you're sitting on a rocking chair in front of a fireplace, and your grandchildren ask you, Granddaddy, what's your biggest accomplishment in your life? It might take you a while to come up with an answer. If you do not set a goal correctly and consistently pushing towards your goal, life just flies by very quickly without getting lots of things done. Today, I'm going to share with you a couple strategies to make sure you accomplish your goal in 2020. So something about myself, I am Dr. Nancy Lee. I teach negotiation and interview tips to help engineers and international professionals to get control of their life and their career. I received my PhD in three and a half years. On average, it takes people about five years to get a PhD. And right now, I manage a team of product managers in a Fortune 20 technology company. I believe I have lots of like capabilities and helps you guys to achieve your goals and learn things faster than others. So today, let me share with you the six steps to achieve your new year resolution in 2020. Step one is a rocking chair test. So this is very important. It's single most important step. If you do not accomplish this, you will never achieve your goal in 2020. So the rocking chair test helps you to understand what is your ideal life? What do you really want? Without knowing what you really want, you will never put all the drill, the energy, the motivation, determination behind your goal to achieve that goal. You gotta know where you wanna go. So this one minute rocking chair test is going to help you to find the answer. Make sure you do this exercise. If you do not do this, I can guarantee most of the energy is going to go into waste. The second step is understand why. Why is very critical. If you do not understand your why, you will easily give up on your dream. And in addition, the why itself has to be very emotional. Let me tell you my personal example, how I found out my why, what my why is. My dream is to open 100 schools in China to teach kids from mid-income, low-income families about entrepreneurship. But until I found out my why behind it, I started to cry. When I found out the reason behind this dream was that I've been living a life that was in control by my parents. I made a full story, full video about this. You can take a look at here. And whenever when I had the imagination of me living the life my parents designed. I just felt like my hair was falling off. Super, super uncomfortable. When you had similar kind of feelings, you probably found your true why. You need to attach it with something emotional, such as maybe related to lots of pain you had in the past, or lots of pleasure. So all the emotional reason behind your why is a true reason, believe me. I have other students in my class took the same exercise and their answer why you want to become a CEO of a company was just, I want to make more money. I want to make a bigger impact. But why you want to make a bigger impact? You need to drill down. Those emotional whys is going to propel you so hard to make you understand this is the right goal for me. Step three is to break down your goal and find out how to get there. So for example, if you want to lose weight in 2020, you can break it down by having a better nutrition and workout three times per week, and in addition, hire a personal trainer. So something I really want to emphasize and that tells you how would you differentiate yourself from other people is that how you achieve it really makes a difference. You need to put the time and the money to get to your goals. For example, lots of people like to improve their public speaking skills, right? And the multiple ways to get there, you can buy a $10 book from a best author on Amazon, right? And those $10 book might be able to help you to do better. But imagine how many people read this $10 book, became the biggest public speaker, they immediately became better. Probably zero. 
So the next level above ten dollars book is to practice in a Toastmaster club one hour per week for free. I've seen lots of people going to Toastmaster for twenty years, and twenty years later they finally became the next big public speaker. They improve significantly. But imagine that do you want to wait for twenty years to improve your public speaking skills? Probably not. So therefore, people like me also go to the next level. We take like two days immersive like workshop or boot camps and helps you to improve it. So the next level above it is to join a, like a three month program, have a coach doing one on one with you, give you a strategized, customized approach. And of course, those coach take cost more money, but I believe those specific advice to you is going to help you to improve yourself, achieve your goals much faster than other people. So that's what I mean when you decide how to achieve it. You need to put the time and the money. If this is the right goal we set at the very, very beginning, step four is measure it. This sounds very simple, but lots of people do not do. So once you set a goal, if you do not have the measurement, you will make no progress. For example, my fiance and I like to work out three times per week. So we have a calendar put on the bathroom mirror. Whenever we work out, we put a cross on the calendar to remind us this we have done so far, how many times we went to the gym. So this measurement is going to hold you accountable for the progress you can make. Number five is the single most important factors that relate to lots of people who is not able to achieve their goal, who give up too early, which is the accountability partner group. Do you know that majority of the small businesses had a single decline of the revenue in April every year? That was because lots of people give up on the new year resolution in April. They want to go to a gym, they sign up for the gym membership for three months, and then they stop it and they cancel the gym membership. Life gets busy, we all get very lazy, including myself. But I figure out a really good strategy to hold each other accountable through the accountability partner group I've built in the past three years. So let me give you an example of what it looks like for accountability partner group. And last year, I matched myself with one of my best friends, Tiffany. So Tiffany's goal is to learn how to play piano. Every week, we text each other to check in with each other. What's your progression towards your goal? By the end of the year, which is a week ago, I was so proud. Tiffany had a piano recital in her piano school and she played Bach Minuet in major G. It was so amazing. I'm so happy to see her playing the grand piano in front of an audience of like hundreds of people. This is the kind of accomplishments we have made together. And at the same time, Tiffany hold me accountable to start my YouTube channel and make me push YouTube videos once per week. This is what I've done. Yeah, guys. There are lots of ups and downs when you're working towards the goals. It's important to have somebody behind you to like love you non-conditionally, just give you support saying that it's okay, take one week break, but I believe you can get there. Come back up, let's work on the goal together. See, lots of people has reached out to me about New Year resolution because they have seen lots of like progress in me and the people around me, how we accomplish our goals. Okay, what I decided is that I'm going to open up my accountability group network to people in my YouTube channel and also my Instagram subscribers. And whoever want to achieve their goal and being very serious about getting things done in 2020, you can join this Facebook group to sign up for the accountability partner group. In it, we're going to do some survey and help you to match with another person and then you can hold each other accountable towards your goal. In addition, the whole group will be guided by me. I had three years of running accountability partner groups experience and I know what works, what doesn't work. So the whole process will be guided by me and the detailed descriptions will be you know, in the description of this video. So if you want to sign up, please make sure you join the group. And number six, do this goal setting exercise once per quarter. So I personally do not make 
New Year resolution, I make quarterly resolution. The reason is that people start to slack off. I told you earlier, it's really difficult to consistently going after goal again and again. But it's important to reflect on yourself. Is it still the right goal for me? Once per quarter, you sit down together, watch this video again to use the six steps I just told you to repeat the process. Understand, is this still the right goal? Did I set my goal too ambitious? Did I set the measurement correctly? So all those things we revisit every quarter. Then you are able to achieve your goal in 2020. So this is Dr. Nancy. You may also wonder how I got my PhD in three and a half years. What kind of secret have I used to be much faster than most people around me? I'm going to make a video to tell you the secret behind it. If you want to see the video, make sure you turn on the notification button and subscribe so that you will be the first person getting notified once the video is out. If you're interested in the accountability partner group, here's the link down below and hope you all achieve your goal in 2020. Bye.